Tukola bulunji buansi na bulunji buanga. Village budget clubs have continued to empower grassroots communities to demand for gender balanced budgets that can directly address their needs. Gender responsive budgeting initiative has not only helped in analyzing plans and budgets, but is also acting as a watchdog of a government to ensure it meets its obligations as per the economic policies. They have done a lot of awareness and uh, pricking the minds of the community about uh, government programs in their area. The, 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 the community is now empowered to, to stand up and ask and question what's going on as far as, as, far as government uh, programs are concerned. Leading the way in the gender budgeting initiative are the four districts of Kabale, Palisa, Luero and Kibale. Here, an empowered citizenry will ensure their local budgets are responding to their needs and the money is accounted for. Many of these local communities have ensured that mainstreaming gender issues in plans and budgets turns into a reality with the dividends. We are looking at how can we improve the livelihoods of the poor woman and man of Luero. Fawade has intervened from right at the top by training economists from the Parliamentary Budget Office in gender responsive budgeting down to the districts, sub counties, and even villages. It's an eye opener to what might have gone wrong or what needs to be done in the best interest of our service users or our, the, the people we deliver services to. Because given the area of jurisdiction is bigger, unless you have people who are vigilant, who are active, who can let you know what is going wrong, you might not be everywhere and you may not get the information. These trainings have enabled the people comprehend the budget cycle and even discover entry points in advocating for gender balanced budgets. Space has also been created where district best NGOs and the local people can interact. They are questioning the the absenteeism of the staff, their performance, and uh, they have also made us attend the interface meetings where we have come into their rescue. Mm. After years of forwarders gender budget advocacy, the government of Uganda began implementing gender budgeting in the 2006-2007 financial year. <laughs> With a vibrant civil society and sensitized communities, the stride is taken in gender budgeting cannot be reversed.